Ken Paisley for LPGA.com alongside Sarah Schmezel, 10 under par. And before it all started, saw you this morning. You're on the phone with your boyfriend who's been a bit of a putting coach for you. What advice did he give you before the start of this round? Yeah, I saw him last week and he kind of tuned everything up and made sure setup was good and all that stuff. But he always just reminds me to to keep my head in it. To, I'm never out. He's such an encouraging factor in my life. And just to just to know that I have someone rooting me on like that. But it was great to see him last week, have him, you know, make sure everything was in the right place and just kind of let it go and trust it. That trust panned out with five birdies in a row to start the round. What clicked right out of the gate? Just kind of had putts fall that weren't really falling before. I've been hitting good, hitting good shots and, you know, had 10, 15, 20 footers and was not converting anything. So once I saw maybe the first two drop, I was like, okay, so we're in a little bit more of a rhythm here. Let's see how many more we can get, you know, the rest of the day. And when you were seven years old, your dad took you, you watched Annika car to 59. Did that round ever come into your mind as you were playing so well today? Definitely. Um, I, my boyfriend also always tells me one more, one more. When you're, <clears throat> when you're playing well, try and get one more, try and get another one. So I, I can't say that's always been my mentality. It's definitely a roadblock I've had to get through. So, you know, when I turned at seven and got eight on number 10, I was like, okay, let's, let's try and do this. Let's try and do something cool. Could kind of picture it in my head and just kept trying to get one more, one more, one more. And you joined Annika at the top of the record book here at the Canvia Portland Classic, shooting a 62. What does it mean to you to have part of the tournament record? It means so much to me to be able to share that with the likes of Annika and Beth Daniel. It's just such an honor, and it's a pinch me moment that I'm out here living my dream and walking in their footsteps. Looking forward to that pinch me moment continuing tomorrow. Thanks for the time, Sarah. Thank you.